chapter 16, verse 3 in the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, it says, in the morning, it, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lower. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but you cannot discern the signs of the times. Uh, Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Karkadash. Uh, double honors to the elders for preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered to the four corners of the world, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say uh, Shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is a uh, outside lesson that I wanted to bring out. And this is, uh, and as you see, uh, discerning the signs of the times. The, this is the title of the sit down lesson. And I'm going to bring it out again for edification sake of this uh, sit down lesson slash walk and talk lesson. This is uh, Matthew 16 and 3 and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. Uh, Bible Gateway, KJV version of the Holy Scriptures. And it reads, and in the morning it shall, it will be foul weather today for the sky is red and lower. All ye hypocrites, ye cannot discern the face of the sky, but you can. But can ye not discern the signs of the times? This is uh, the book of Luke 12, 50, I mean Luke 12 and 56. Right, so, you know, uh, just like 2 Ezra 9 and 1, it says, Measure out the time diligently in itself because the uh, man of the Lord, we're out here measuring the time diligently in itself because you know we see what the, what the uh, signs is going on in the latter days, you know, because we see, uh, you know, prime example of signs, uh, one particular, you know, the uh, Matthews 24 and 6, you know, on the end of the last day, you should hear wars and rumors of wars that's that's increasing. And the next verse of Matthews uh, 24 and 7, uh, nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdoms. And we see in the weather conditions, the uprising, the upwards in the people of the world, you know. But the majority of the people in this world, they don't discern those times. Only but the men of the Lord, you know. They got eyes to see and ears to hear, you know. It says, let them have an ear and let them hear, you know. And that's a rough paraphrase that scripture, you know. But as us men of the Lord, and we thank the Most High for giving us these signs to be able to learn in the latter days, you know. Because yeah, we could be able to discern the time, the signs of the times, you know. Because our people, that our people, which is the Israelites, the children of Israel, they cannot see the times that we are in. And the other nations, they cannot see what the times that they're living in as well, too. They, they they are hip to it, but not 100% fully hip to it. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference between knowing what's actually going on and 100% knowing for sure what's going on. Like the scripture says, uh, the Heavenly Father will do nothing to reveal his secrets to his servants and prophets. And the men of the Lord, the children of Israel, because we are the descendants of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. We are the sons of Jacob, the sons of the Most High. Because he gave us this wisdom and knowledge and understanding to be able to discern the times and a lot of times that we are currently in, you know. And I'm going to uh, read it again for edification's sake. This is the book of Luke, chapter 12 and verse 56, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. And it says, uh, and I'm going to read it again, Salakia. It says, uh, Luke 12 and 56, ye, ye hypocrites, can ye... Ye can discern the face of the sky of the earth, but how is that ye do not discern this time, right? The times that we are in, you know. We seeing what's taking place in the world today, like I mentioned again for prime examples. The uprises and up wars in the people in the world, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. Wars and rumors of wars are heating up, you know. Um, the earthquakes in diverse places, these weather conditions, these famines, pestilence, you name it, etc. You know, they can discern what's going on in the world of them living it up, trying to live it like it's their last. But they don't actually discern the time, what's going on in the world today. They want to, uh, yo, that yolo style, live it up. And they don't know. See, that's the spirit. <laughs> See, everybody is having a good time, you know. And they don't know, they don't, they don't even, even discern the time of what's going on in the world today. But are you having a good time? I believe that was an Edom, Edomite riding past the bike because I'm right here by Lakeshore. 
right by the uh right by the water area and stuff like that right back close to uh lake shore and uh millennium park and all that you know but you know that's the spirit hey that's the spirit right there that's why i didn't sit down lesson on this you know so these other nations they can't discern what the what, what the signs of times that we are living in you know only the men of the lord you know that are the ones that got uh, eyes to see and ears to hear in the latter days you know and the children of Israel are the ones that are tr truly trying to see, trying to seek and see what's going on in the latter days. You know, the ones that are truly and sincerely about it and inquiring about it, you know. Because like I uh, mentioned again, uh, the Heavenly Father will do nothing to reveal his secrets to his servants, the prophets in the latter days. And the Wadi Yahab Hashem al for giving us an uh, opportunity and chance to be able to dis discern the times in the latter days. Just like uh, Matthew's 24, I believe Matthew's 24 and 37, uh, way back in modern day, uh, way back in the modern day times of Noah, you know, they're marrying and giving into marriage, you know, and this is where we're living in the modern day uh, times of Noah, you know, and matter of fact, I'm going to bring that spirit, I'm going to bring that out as well too. So the men of the Lord, we are discerning the signs of the times that we are in you know? even if people might look at us crazy for bringing these uh, holy scriptures out especially when we walk in past walk and talk <laughs> especially our own people i just walked past like two or three of my own nation of people you know uh when i was out here bringing out the scriptures doing walk and talk lessons like oh this guy is crazy what is he talking about you know so that's a prime example that's a prime example right there you know, our people, especially our people, the children of Israel, that's still part of this world. The ones that they don't know that they are the children of Israel. They are the sons and the daughters of the Most High, Yahweh thy power, which is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. You know, they don't discern the times, you know. And the ones that are Israelites as well, too, they want to be still still part of this world as well, too. You know, like the scripture says, let the blind lead the blind, let the blind lead the blind and it, it fall in the ditch. So this is the signs of the times that we are living in, you know. And I'm going to bring out the uh, Matthews 20, I believe it's 24, 37. of Noah war so shall also coming of the son of man be verse 38 Matthew 24 and 38 for as in the days that were before the I mean before the flood they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in, in the marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark right because we're living in modern day uh, times of Noah, you know? they're marrying eating and drinking and marrying and giving in to marriage you know that Folly set in great dignity in the rich and in the rich sit in low places, which are the Israelites. We are rich in the spirit because we have the wisdom and knowledge and understanding, you know. And Yahweh Shimei Shah have revealed us these secrets to his servants, the prophets, in the latter days, you know. 
because we seeing a lot of folly, F-O-L-L-Y, uh, a lot of folly going on in a lot of days, you know. But uh, I, I digress on that. This is, uh, I'm gonna read it again. This is Matthew 24 and 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also coming of the Son of Man be. Uh, Matthew uh, 24 and 38. For as in the days that were before the before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark. Matthew 24 and 38. And know ye not until the flood came and took them all the way, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Right? Just like 2nd Ezra 9 and 5, you know, from the beginning of the end, and the end is being manifest. Uh, Matthew 24 and 14. And the gospel of this kingdom shall be preached unto all world, unto a witness, unto all nations for a witness. Then should the end come. Right? So that's a prime example right there. The men of the Lord, we are discerning the times of the signs of the times. And we're measuring the time diligently in itself in the latter days, you know. So this is just a uh, sit down lesson that I wanted to bring out about, um, you know, discerning the times, you know. And so with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Bokar Kadash. Uh, double honors to the elders for bringing this word. I mean, uh, double honors to the elders for uh, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. I meant to say, kind of slip of the word, Salakia. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And until next time, I will say Shalom. You know.